Valentine Village for Homeless Women is set to open this Saturday. Today, volunteers were busy making it ready for the 14 women who will call the community home. KGW's Christine Pitawanich is live in North Portland. And Christine, this idea came out of Portland State University. Kathy, it did, and PSU students designed this entire area, if you look around. And these pods were designed and built by either students or architecture firms in Portland. And if you see here, these porches, they're low to the ground and they're easily movable. Dozens of volunteers. It's a spectacular feeling. Working hard in North Portland's Kenton neighborhood to make sure the Kenton Women's Village is ready for its grand opening this weekend. We are building some planters that I think are going to be used either for the community garden area over here or for um, the kind of in between the houses. Naria Gomez lives nearby. I just felt really connected to the mission to create spaces for houseless people, particularly for houseless women. 14 houseless women will live in these pods, each space unique. Uh, so these pods were all designed by uh, students in PSU School of Architecture, uh, as well as a number of architecture firms around Portland. The idea? To bring together houseless people and architecture design with input and the go-ahead from the neighborhood. And there was a vote on March 8th and it was a decisive yes. PSU faculty member Todd Ferry is one of the project organizers. All he right, showed so, us one uh, of the pods. You're entering on a porch and uh, in this space we have uh, the students thought a lot about things like storage and to make something welcoming, uh, how to bring in light but still provide privacy. From a desk area to places to hang clothes to a bookshelf, the intent is to make it feel homey in here. So you, you could imagine that uh, on a day like this with the rain that this would be a really comfortable, uh, pleasant place to be. So we're excited about that. I'm really happy that this is happening in my neighborhood. I want, I'm, and to me it helps me feel connected to the neighborhood. So this is a one year pilot project. After that, it'll have to be decided whether the pods stay or go elsewhere. As for the 14 women, most of them are from the North Portland area and they'll have access to kitchen facilities, bathroom facilities in these storage containers. And many of the materials, if you look around, have been donated, but still there are still some essential items that are needed. If you're wondering what those items are, how you can help, you can visit our website, kgw.com and click on news links. That's where we have posted a list. Back to you. All right, Christine, thank you. Portland State architectural class did really well on